looking for a worthy challenger. First or most? Eivor! Is this where Justice hides when she's tired? Hides? Splood, no. This is a wake, my friend. A celebration to ease the Quill on her way to eternal damnation. You heard. Hilda's were not the only eyes in Winchester. My spies tell me stories of an avenging angel striking down the unworthy. I've been called worse. Be thou hail, Eldorbana. That's life destroyer in our dialect. I sat easy with my kinsbane, old honey waves alive in my horn, and my eyes on the door, expecting my death, yet unafraid. <laughs> You're quite safe with me, Dane. For now. If the mead is fresh and the air is cool, you may often find a friend even amongst your enemies. What does Arif do, exactly, besides sniff around the king's coattails for the scent of praise? I enforce and interpret the laws here. Not man's, but God's law. The natural laws that move the world and hold it together. Well, if that keeps you busy... I must thank you before the ale dulls me. By cutting the order down to size, it must be a sour apple to swallow, knowing that you are the last of Winchester's enemies. Are you sure the Six is dead? The bishop is dead, that's certain. And if the bishop was the Six, the Six is dead. A transitive property of mortality, you see. I do not believe it. Too much theater in Winchester. Overwrought prayers and wailing women. Well, you could pay your respects and see for yourself. The funeral is today. If he rots, I will leave with my silver. But if he lives, there's work to be done. Watch your step, Eivor. He'll be a hefty corpse in death. Alive, he'd be much bigger. Whether you find or make a corpse, meet me at the Witten with your report. Bishop is worm meal, then here should be the proof. Such a grisly fate. Did you know Alpha? By reputation, I did. He was no friend of Alfred's. I want to have quarreling into Witten. A peasant's clothes. Strange discovery in a churchyard. Stranger comes to Wember. You do not mourn like they do. Wember is always here, helping the sleeping, singing to them, so they are not frightened before they meet God. The sleeping? You mean the dead? Wember helps the monks. Dig, dig, dig. You dig the graves. Did you bury Aelfirth? Have you seen Layoff? My poor friend. Poor. Poor Layoff. What about the Bishop Aylfirth? Did you dig his grave? No, no. I don't bury a lord in a pauper's husk. Poor Layoff. They showed him their gleaming blade. Someone heard your friend Layoff? Yes, yes. And while he slept, they stole his face. The face is burned, and his clothes do not seem to fit his frail body. It could be Wemba's friend. And this corpse's build is slight. 
Frail. Goodwin said Aelfirth was a brute. This funeral is a shadow play. The Order killed an innocent, burned his face so no one could tell, and interred him in Aelfirth's place. His sister knows... Leave me to my grief! A pretty show you have laid on here. But I know the truth. You would dare speak to me? When my poor brother Aelfirth lies cold in his shroud? Your brother is the Sikhs, and no more dead than I am. Heresy. My brother was the Bishop of Winchester. When Goodwin got too close to the truth about your brother's place in the Order, you buried him. Or rather, you buried another in his place. The poor gravedigger's friend. Burning his face so no one would know. How did you... No, I... I... Your brother is not in that crit. Tell me where he is before more lives are lost. I will not tell you any more. Guards! All right, all right, have your way. They won't do you any good. Guards! You faithful! Enough of this, cat and mouse. Where is your brother, the one they call the Sikhs? He is a ghost now. But he will make himself flesh once more of the Witten. And Alfred will be king no more. He means to kill Alfred. Regicide? No. The king will step aside and Aelfeth will lead us all, risen and resplendent as the Lord. You are a damned fool. See you, old friend. Seeks must be hiding in the crowd, biding his time to strike at Alfred. Not priest, clerk, or abbot can turn the letter of their sermons from Latin to English. And how can we understand God's words if they are not spoken in our tongue? Aelfirth is dead, and we mourn him. But the foul deeds of the unrighteous are sown among our holy deeds, like cockles and tear in a field of wheat. Education. Wisdom, enlightened thoughts, this will raise us above the sins of our fathers. These I will demand of the next Bishop of Winchester. The King is mine! Why do you defend this tiny crown? Enough, you scheming cur! Greater men than you. Sweet is the shepherd's pipe when he calls his lambs to slaughter. I was born to Christians in the northern wilds. My mother would cradle me beneath the stars and whisper, dove-like, God watches over you. Then your people came. 
And God fixed his stout eye as they slit her throat for a copper ring. No stars threw down their spears as barbarians smeared her blood through fields of broken wheat. God watched all. And I hated him. It may be Alfred's God was testing you. A trial you failed. Alfred's God is weak. Yet he would chain us all in his service, from our first breath to our death rattle. My order wishes to break these mind-forged manacles. I am the wolf in Lamb's wool. He takes on the role of a god himself. A worthy path to walk. A wolf is but a walking feast for ravens. One more gift for you, Dane. A deadly truth, if you can find it. With my death, the Order will not die. It will only transform into something far worse for all of us. Elfirth will not cheat Loki's dread daughter twice. I owe you my life. An irony not lost on me, Alfred. My king, we'll go by back streets to the Old Minster. Eivor may find us there when all has settled. Dane, my brother served God. He wrapped himself in a death cloak to murder your king. Shouldn't you rejoice at the death of a king? You are a heathen and a devil. We both have more questions than answers. But if you know this key, perhaps we can help one another. Where is its home? You treated me with kindness. But this damned order, their machinations killed my brother, so the rest may rot. Take this key to the ruins beneath the bishop's house. You may find answers there. Elfer's sister spoke true. I will find answers in the ruins. This must be it. 
door to Aelfer's secrets. I will send this to Hytham. He may make some sense of it. Everything they did was to undermine Alfred. She lied to me. There's nothing here of the Order. I should see Alfred for my reward. Come forth, Eivor. Here is far enough. When wrongdoers came to devour my flesh, these enemies stumbled and fell. Have the laws of hospitality been thrown out, Alfred? I did exactly as we agreed. That you did. But do not mistake necessity for friendship. You are a man of your word, a man of God. Indeed. By his example, I live my life. Goodwin. Here is the only silver fit for one of your dragon boats. A reminder of Christ's sacrifice and our charity. This too I offer you. Live here among us in peace as a Christian, or die a pagan in a blood-soaked field. All you have to lose is life everlasting. And if I choose neither? He offers you hope, Eivor. A life of purpose, above and beyond this one. You'd be a fool to refuse. Your reign will end, King of the West Saxons. Raven wings will beat until your throne crumbles to dust. You were wrong, Goodwin. This one is beyond saving.
had your chance, damn you! I did not want it. Turn to Hytham and Ranmi. They will want to know what happened here. Have you seen Wallace? The Order in Winchester has been wiped out, but we are no longer welcome there. My contact was none other than King Alfred himself. The Order wanted him dead, so he thought back. Alfred? The line between friend and enemy is a porous one. Something happened. You will want to speak to him yourself. Eivor, the time has come. Our time. Our time for what? My final glory awaits. 
Your final glory. I fear to ask what that means. Do I not speak plainly? My time in Midgard is done. I wish now to see the hall of my ancestors. If you wish to die, it will not be by my hand. I do not speak of death, Eivor. I speak of life. Life and glory everlasting. I know I've been in a fog these last few weeks. I know I speak words you don't fully understand. But I only ask you trust me once more. On my final voyage back to Norway, to wish my father farewell and achieve my destiny. Back to Norway? I need to discuss this with Ranvi. If you must. I will await your answer down by the docks. Do not keep me waiting. Greetings. I want to see the Alliance map. It may be time to return to Norway. Sigurd is eager to see his father and... And beyond that, I do not know. I have heard ill news about Styrbjorn in the past year. If you go, go with care. We will leave now, and return as soon as we're able. Good. And be safe, both of you. If you've a moment to spare... Sigurd. Shall we then, Eivor? To Norway, and well beyond. To Norway, then. Good, good! Lead on! So strange. It has changed. But it feels... unfamiliar. A few years abroad have shaped us more than all the decades we spent here, brother. And it's bloody cold. Colder than I remember. Starts. It thrives, in spite of our father, no doubt. Are you sure of this? I will say what needs to be said. Do you fear his rebuke? Oh, no. I crave it. It may be the old hound has lost his bark. Or it may be you will light a fire beneath him, inspire him with tales of our glory. If I do, I'll stoke that flame until it burns. Be my eyes. Soonin. What was it Randy said? Our father spends his days in the mead halls and his nights on barren planks of wood. That's right. We'll search the mead halls. I remember what... Where did we leave off? Ah. I remember one nearby. A sad hole where men soak their unhappiness. We should look there. We come empty-handed. Not even a gift to offer. Rat. We should go. Look at him. Father.
Sigur? My son, Eivor, by Odin's blessing, come and let me look at you Stop. both. That is far enough. Blood of cheer. What happened there? A grievous wound you have. Are you well? Far better than I look, I assure you. This... this calls for a toast. Your journey must have been long and cold. A drink to warm your blood! We are not here to drink or make merry. Only to look upon the rackets of a once great man. And then what? Make new war against King Harald? Stake a claim on his crown? Is that your wish? To sow more chaos here? <laughs> You're absurd, old man. What could possibly interest me in this frozen backwater? Interest you? You robbed me of my wealth when you left for England. I presume you would do it again. Not my idea. You left us with nothing when you pledged for King Harald. We took only what we deserved. <laughs> I have returned for one reason only, to say goodbye, and to thank you for your colossal failure. Failure? As a father, as a king, as a man. For without it, I would not have discovered my true self. My failure, as you call it. My oath to King Harald was the only sensible path forward for a man in my situation. It was your right to pledge your crown to another. And I know you did what you thought best for the safety of our clan. As Harald's forces advanced, I knew we did not have the strength to oppose him. We were too disorganized, too weak. With the sun ever absent, always off raiding in some far-flung land, never concerned with the duties of kingship. What choice did I have but to pledge my allegiance to him? A man with ambition and an army to match it. Absent? I acted only as the son of a king must. To earn you riches, to bring you glory, to praise your name. The people of Constantinople had no use for my name, Sigurd. I needed you here. Listen to this weeping old goat. You should have told us of your plan to bend the knee to Harald. And spared me the shame of seeing my father debase himself like a gutted pig. You are right. I owed you the truth, and for that I am sorry. But I will not apologize for what I did. Then I have nothing left to say to you. Sigurd, from the day you were born, I wanted nothing more than to pass on my title, my land, my people, to you. But one year is never like another, and with the passage of time, certain truths appeared, unavoidable. Ours was the last kingdom in Norway to resist Harald's advance. To oppose him would have been our death. You do not know that. We could have fought back. We could have, yes. And suffered countless deaths for no other reason than to protect our pride. We will never know the truth. Because you were too afraid to risk it. Look after him, Eivor. And if you have the chance, lead him back from the edge of the abyss. He's my brother, not my dog. Be well, old man, and serve your king with honor. This sad business is finished. And good riddance. And now we sail for further shores. To my true purpose. To my destiny. To the end of my road. I will follow you as far as you wish in this world, brother. But if you mean to take us further, I may reconsider. I do not think you will, Eivor. I think you will marvel at what I have to show you.
still dwelling on your father? Not at all. I was only reflecting on my visions, wondering at them, how present they are, like memories of yesterday. Describe them for me, your visions. My earliest was of a large door embedded in ice, far north of Hördafilke. The Saka stone embedded at the top of its arch. As the visions grew stronger, the door opened, revealing many things. The life tree Yggdrasil, the golden fields of Valhalla, and the faces of our gods, all of whom called me friend, brother, warrior. I felt at home among them, warmed by their love. You should know, you are not alone in this. I too have had visions. Have you? And what did they foretell? It is hard to say. I've seen Odin leading me into shadows. I've seen spinners weaving wild destinies from pools of blood. I saw the great beast Fenrir. The branches of the world tree, and a man with... Go on. Valka warned me of a great betrayal, but what form it takes I cannot say. I see. I hold to my oath, Sigurd. You know that. Betrayal is not in my nature. Of course not. You are a stalwart as a pillar of stone. Come now. My destiny awaits. of I here, bless our passage. Yes. I feel a great calm as we cross these waves. This ordeal with the Elf King, Alfred. How far have you pushed him? Does he bend? Will he break? Guthrum's army will be chasing him across Wessex now. Good luck, and we'll push Alfred into the sea. Strange how these earthly concerns seem so distant to me. We've gained so much in England. We stand to win even more. The Christians are hardy foes. They see one man above who holds the axe. One man higher than us all. That is a powerful thing. We hold our own axe. We swing it very may. The woman, Fulke. In my time with her, as painful as it was, she showed me things. Things so strange and wonderful, I am almost grateful for her treachery. What she did to you was cruel beyond measure. Yet, with every snap of the flame, with every scar, loss of my arm. My visions grew stronger. If you can find the good in that, fine. She was as mad as the ocean is wide. Even the mad ones can offer wisdom. Their Jesus was an odd fellow. Now half the known world loves him. And no one believed us when we were young, and we chiseled our plans onto tables and meat halls. Not even my father. There is the secret I know well. Can we not return to England and finish together what we began? No, forget all that. The future is forward. A great wealth awaits us. I'm with you, brother. Until the end. A white rage stands in our way. Keep moving forward! Do you know the way? As I know my own mind! We will cut through this winter sheet like swords through straw! Do not worry! To Paris and a lonely fjord! We'd be the shame of our clan! Ha! That we would! Green 